What's up fam and welcome to this episode of Rex's Photo Booth Reviews and Tutorials. Today we're going to be addressing texting and sharing with SMS or Twilio. But before we get on with today's episode, I'm going to be needing your help. I'm doing everything I can to keep this channel alive. I have, I just recently crossed the 2000 subscriber mark and it's all because of you guys, which I really appreciate. But as you know, I have videos with 30,000 views and still growing, which means 28,000 of you have not. So if I ever helped you with your business in any way, help me out with mine. Please like, comment, and subscribe. As of late, I have seen several posts about texting or sending not going through and it's hurting your events. Totally understandable. So I have reached out to several of the admins and moderators in the group. And upon further research, 95% of the problems are internet related because people don't know what their internet speeds are. So what, what does it mean when these guys keep asking for my internet speeds? What is it that they're asking me and where is that setting in my software? Well, I'm gonna tell you. I want you to know that the solution to texting and sending has been posted and mentioned several times in the forums, but I think it's really not getting through because people don't know how to assess their internet speeds as it's not a feature of any particular photo booth software. So I'm gonna to have to break it down and I'm gonna show you step by step of how to assess your speed, what the numbers are mean, and get you to perform a flawless service. I want you to know there is no hack, there is no magic, it is easily solved by downloading a free app. It's available for Apple iOS, it's available for Android, and that app is called Speedtest, speedtest.net. You can also access it via a browser if you don't want to download an app. And the best part, absolutely free. The majority of your texting or SMS issues are internet related. Some of you are pointing at Twilio. Some of you are pointing at the app that you use, but it is in fact not app. It is not related to your photo booth app. As a matter of fact, most of the apps don't even use Twilio anymore because it's out of their control. So I'm going to show you step by step right here how to access the app, how to open the app, download the app, and then assess your speeds. The first thing is open up the app store and type in speed test. And the app that you're looking for is speed test by Ookla. And you're going to hit open and when it opens it goes directly to a circle with the word go in it and you're going to press go you're going to ignore the ads and it's going to ask you to add notifications go ahead and hit allow and now look though that's my download speed right there the first speed they give you is download and to have 300 megabits of anything at any location is insane so i have great internet I have great internet, but now we're getting the upload numbers and there's a huge disparity between the two. The recommended speed is 10 megabits per second at minimum. So I'm gonna run it again, just to make sure uh, that I'm in a good location and that it's consistent. And yeah, again, I have 
300 plus as the download and the upload is struggling, barely getting close to 10 megabits. But here on the second try, we got 10, almost 11. So at minimum, I know that the Photo Booth app is gonna work in this environment. Okay, so now once you have your numbers, we have to be able to assess what they mean. A lot of times people say they have great internet because they can answer calls, answer emails, and look up text. As a matter of fact, hey, I can even download an entire Netflix movie and watch it while I'm at the event. You're obviously not going to do that, but that doesn't mean that you have good internet speed. That does mean that you do have good download speed, but what we're really concerned about is with upload speed because in order for your text to work you need to be able to send that photo up to the cloud in order for people to text and share if that photo isn't there if that photo or video is not there then you will not be able to share your text will not go through also i've noticed some guests either forget their phone numbers or so drunk they mistype their phone numbers and when they type their numbers incorrectly, number one, obviously, they're not going to be able to get their photo or video, but two, it also causes the app to time out because it doesn't know where to go. What we're most concerned with is the upload speed, okay? We don't care about the download. We don't care that you can watch a movie, but we need that upload speed to be right around 10 megabits per second. If you don't have at least 10 megabits per second, you can count on your app stalling out, timing out, and not delivering a flawless service. Now, if you don't get the 10 megabits per second, there are other ways to share the videos, i.e. AirDrop or QR code scan or LumaShare. And if you guys are interested in that, I'll do that in a part two video. But in this video, I'm most concerned with being able to uh, assess what your internet speed is. Internet is what you need to provide a flawless service to your clients. I did say in the beginning of this video that 95 or a majority of the texting or sharing issues were inter internet related but I have actually seen some instances where you know very pro users uh, very familiar with the app have high internet speeds upload like 50 plus 50 megabits per second plus and still have slow sharing and they seem to be users that are outside of the country so one of the things to check is make sure you have the correct country code second that you have good internet speeds and three if you are having those issues hey it's a real issue but i've but only if you're outside of the united states uh, in the united states a majority of the problems are solved by knowing what your internet speeds are so if you're out of the country you have good internet, 50 plus, 25 plus, you have the correct country code, please write an email with screenshots to support so they can look into the issue and correct it. I want you to know I'm a volunteer, Marty's a volunteer. We're all here to help you. We don't get paid. Complaining in a user's group is not going to help you, but writing an email with proof to the developer will so i'm going to put the email below if you need to contact technical support so they can look into your issue last thing if you're here domestically and you have good internet speeds but your texts aren't going out one of the quickest ways to check is number one do the speed test assess that you have good in, good and stable internet and then go back to your app kill the app completely which which i mean by swiping up 
and then reopening the app, not turning off your iPad and turning back on because sometimes your app will, will stay open. I want you to kill the app. So that means swiping up to the top with the app and then reopening it and checking your text. That has resolved the issue many of the times. Again, if you are in the U United States, North America, Canada, you are still having these issues even if you have good internet, please just simply take a screenshot uh, of your internet speed now that you know how to do it and the date and time that it happened. You've closed the app, reopened it, and you're still not getting your text or SMS sent. Then send an email to tech support so they can look into that. Collectively, if there are enough emails with proof about the same issue, then they can better detect and resolve it for you. Lastly, you guys know a Rexus photo booth reviews and tutorials is not a tutorial without a bonus hack. My bonus hack that I wanted to do was to show you how to share, uh, share your photos or videos when you don't have internet, but I believe it would be so long, it would be an entirely new video. So if you are interested outside of airdrop, outside of, um, outside of sharing directly with QR code, from the device itself. Comment part two below and I will teach you step by step how you can share via QR code or AirDrop on a Apple iOS or an Android device when there is absolutely no internet. That means that people can't even get their calls. They can't get their text because they're in a basement or they're at a convention where there's so many signals, everything is jammed. So if you're interested, comment in the YouTube video part two and I will create a part two video showing you how to do sharing when there's absolutely no internet. So happy boothing everybody and until next time.